it's Mary Jo again. Welcome to my kitchen. It's such a beautiful fall day. We're outside, we're grilling, we're right by the kitchen, but we have the outdoor kitchen today. When we did the tailgating, we got such a great response from everyone, but they wanted to know about the pizza. So we are devoting a show to the pizza. They loved it, they said it looked wonderful, they loved that it was nice and crispy, so that's what we're gonna do today. Now, I like to start with these already made doughs, the uh, whole grain and the white. Of course, you know I prefer the whole grain, but they come already prepackaged and they're all set to go. And it's very easy and uh, calorie wise, it's fantastic. We're going to be adding in some mozzarella, some white cheddar, tomato, pepper. It's really up to you. Let's get started. What we've done is I put the the bread onto the grill, and one of them I've added the ragot. We love ragot in my family, so we I added that. This has uh, mozzarella, and, and it also has the white cheddar. So we start off with that. We put it on the grill for maybe 10 minutes to get it nice and crispy. Then what we're going to do is add some of the fixings. You can have a plain like that. That's absolutely fabulous, but we like to add different fixings. Now I did have leftovers from the chicken, and remember. The bones are wonderful. Save the bones for the soup. We will do soup one time. Here's the chicken. Just add a few pieces of chicken. Remember, you want to watch the, the uh, portions, and it's also portions of the meat that you're adding onto it. But I know I'm a big uh, chicken fan, and I love that extra taste. Tomatoes. These are diced tomatoes. These are wonderful. Adds texture, and adds taste. You can put this on to the next one. Adds wonderful color. You can really do it any way you want. We have spinach here, we have broccoli, big spinach fans here also. I'm going to add the spinach on to the little goat. You can put as much as you want, you can put as little as you want, and this is absolutely wonderful for kids because they love to add their own fixing. You can also take these off of the, the grill, bring them over to the table, and have the kids actually do all the work at the table so nobody has to go near the grill or get burned. So we're going to do it right there on the grill. I also love to add cooked tomatoes. Here's some mushrooms. These are all cooked ahead of time. Some peppers, cooked peppers. Come on, look at that taste, look at that flavor. Onions. Add as little or as much as you want. We we're going to leave that in for just a minute. Then what we can do is, at the, on the top of it, we're going to put add a little bit more cheese. Now these are still fabulous for your calorie count and your portion control. So we're going to finish this off by adding just a little bit more cheese. If you're not really into cheese, skip the cheese. If you want to mix and match, match the cheese, go ahead and do it. If you rather have the ragot, I mean the uh, mozzarella, sorry, then just stick with the mozzarella. It's really up to you. The flavor is yours, the taste is yours, the texture is yours. Really depends on what you like and what your family likes. Now, while that's finishing up, I always like to add something, some veggies, in addition to the main meal is going to be. You can add, if you're having the plain pizza, you can add a little bit of your chicken. So let's go ahead and do that. And I also like to add a salad. It's really up to you. If you prefer veggies, these are fresh veggies. We're going to throw some of these on too. This is just adding more flavor for you, more taste for you, more texture for you. It's, it's just a way, great way to get your, your vitamins and everything else. Now what we have to do is, what I like to do is add the spices. The spices are where the tastes are. You can add your garlic. Who doesn't like garlic? Everybody likes garlic. Basil leaves. Give 
that nice green flavor. I know my kids love the red pepper. My kids aren't here today, so we're not going to add the red pepper to it. You can also add the Italian seasoning. It's really, or you can just leave it plain. I also like to, like it plain. Now for the salad, I'm using my spray. Just about no calories in that. So go with that because it's just a fabulous added taste and there's really no extra calories in that. Now I'm going to take the pizza ball. Doesn't that look great? Doesn't that look absolutely fabulous? It's a wonderful way to have a meal. We're going to start with this. Now in my house we like to mix and match. Oh, you can hear that crisp. Do you hear it? Ah, I can smell the flavor. I can smell the spices. I can smell the herbs. We're going to have one of these. And we'll pull another one off. Uh, this is with the tomatoes. Mmm, mmm, it's fabulous. I can't wait to have this. Remember, portion controls. Remember, you can have it. You can enjoy it. You can enjoy the flavors. You can enjoy the textures. You can enjoy the crispiness. You can enjoy all of it. Here's a plain one. I mean, really, nothing can beat this. Also, on the go, it's a great way to have that crisp, have everything that you want. So I hope you know that you can have this pizza. Stick with this. Stick with this type of bread. Watch the calorie count. Read the labels, and you can do it. You can have your fixings, and you can really enjoy it. Go have a salad. Go have some veggies. Just enjoy yourself. I'm going to enjoy it now.